Hello everyone and welcome to another video. My name is JD Bosch and today I am bringing you a best class setup with the VMP. Now, I have to apologize in advance because this gameplay is shocking. It is so bad. Um, I was considering not posting it, but I thought I'd show you that all the videos I have posted, they aren't always good. And it does take um, some time in getting. And I would have, you know, gone on for better gameplays, but I got in late from college, um, you know, a nine till half six. So, you know, I didn't have much time to get in and, uh, you know, spend time looking for, you know, getting gameplays and then recording them. So I thought, you know what, this was like the second game on, and I thought, well, you know, it's not too bad because I did have two games before it, and I just went, did worse. So this is the better one out of the two. Um, but this is the class that I'm using: the VMP with quick draw, stock, and long barrel, along with the perks of afterburner, scavenger, fast hands, and tap mask. Now, um, you know, now I don't normally use fast hands on an SMG, but I just felt like it may just be, you know, better off. Um, having a fast hands just to have that quicker advantage as well as having quick draws so you know it worked out well it did get me in some get me into some good gunfights and I did win some of them but um, the thing I want to talk about is the people that I'm playing against um, not necessarily them as individuals but like general players that play like them and I just oh my god the amount of noobs I was playing with but look at this now this is all in theater mode, but if I saw that ki that um, kill cam right there, he hip fired me, and that just triggers me. And uh, just from that, I was so annoyed, and I was like, "Well, this is not going to be a good gameplay." But anyway, I thought it would be funny to me for me to explain what was going on anyway, because you know, like I mean, I'm pretty sure if you haven't already, you can see um, some of my um, Call of Duty Modern Warfare Remastered videos where I was using the Dragon off. And I was doing pretty terrible with those, but that's a sniper. Get bear in mind, and this is a VMP. This is a gun that is supposed to be overpowered, and there's me doing really bad with it. But overall, I think I do like 12 and 28. That is probably one of the worst gameplays I have had. It's not the worst, but it's it's up there. And um, like here, oh, like I was just not with it. I think I have to physically be able to play Call of Duty when I am actually, you know. I'm home, I have time to actually sit and record and actually get decent gameplay because this was me coming in half an hour from college and just getting on and trying to get a gameplay for you guys because I have been uploading um, consistently and I kind of want to keep that up so you know you guys know that I'm consistent and you can come back to videos every day but you know it's it's a, it's annoying when you get gameplays like this that are just terrible that you really shouldn't be posting but I just thought, you know what, it is a difference. And um, speaking of difference, um, I am planning on actually not constantly uploading best class setups because they clearly do get very boring and very annoying. So I am planning on actually recording some zombies that I kept saying I've been meaning to record, which I will be. Um, I'll most likely not be playing Black Ops 3. I'll probably, I will probably be playing Black Ops 2 or World of War or Black Ops 1 with some of the maps that are getting remastered for Zombies Chronicles and I have been seeing live streams after live streams of people, well, zombie YouTubers who are, you know, recording them early and I'm telling you, I'm loving them so far and so I kind of wanted to, you know, go back and play them myself so that, you know, actually I get that feeling that they're coming out, I'm actually going to be playing them soon. Um, but then again, that's another thing, I don't know if um, if we PC and Xbox users will be get, getting it a month late or we'll be getting them um, kind of the same time just a couple of days after I'm not sure because it's not technically DLC for uh, Black Ops 3 it's just another game in a sense not really it's Black Ops 3 it's just that it's maps um, but yeah, I will be um, posting a lot of that when it comes out for me to be available. I'm sure there'll be hundreds of gameplays by the time I get to it. But you know what? It's something I want to do. And I'm sure that you guys will enjoy watching it when I do post it anyway. And uh, so yeah, I will be recording that. I'll um, probably be uh, recording, see how far I can get in a map. And it'll surely be pretty good time. Um, I'm planning on probably doing it in 
um, chronological order, so we're ascending up from Natron to Totem to Origins. Um, and look at that. Oh god, that annoyed me. I was behind the wall when he did his gravity spikes, but it still killed me. Like, they've got to fix the radius of those bloody gravity spikes, but that's it. So now we're in the second part of the gameplay, and I mean, there's not much else for me to, you know, tell you guys about this gameplay. It is terrible, but I will speak, pardon me, more on um, zombies because that I will, I can talk forever with for, and um, oh, oh god, see that's what happens to me when I see multiple enemies, I get in a panic, and bang, I panic and die. So, you know, what can you do? But anyway, back to zombies. I've been playing zombies since World of War, and uh, funny story, I was never much of a zombie player, and um, I was more of a campaign person back when Call of Duty World of War came out, and so once I completed the campaign, I was like, oh, well, what's this? I, after I completed I was like, wait, what, what, what's this? And I started hearing creepy music, and then I hear zombie noises and I'm like oh god this is a horror game and then uh, I see zombies and I start killing them and I automatically fell in love and the first time I played it I got to like 25 or 26 or something and I was like wow that's got to be really high and then I realized that actually that's that's really not the highest people have got to level 200 on there and stuff so anyway that's that and then obviously uh, I didn't play much else zombies until direct Deris I can never say it right. That's my favorite map for World of War anyway. That map just brings so much joy because it brings so many memories of what Zombies was back in the day. People camping up on that little um, balcony part near the back teleporter and then you all had to just sit in the top corner and just shoot and shoot and just hope for the best. And look at that. Oh god, that BS right there. Oh, this guy knew what glitch was and he knew how to counter it. But yeah, and then Black Ops 1, I played a lot of, um, I managed to get to like round 70 on Call of the Dead and like 40 or 50 something on Ascension. I didn't think much of high rounds at the time, I was just more of a zombie player and I just enjoyed playing it. Um, and then that's when I started watching like Yodi Slayer and The Relaxing End and Syndicate when they kind of went for high rounds and I was like, damn, that was taking them a long time. But obviously they, they, those guys had time on their hands and you know, it was their jobs to do that. So. And back then I was like 14 or 13, so you know I wasn't really into it all that much. And then obviously we had Black Ops 2, where I played the most zombies I've ever played, and uh, so much to the fact that I spent an entire eight hours on Die Rise, and I uh, got to around 110. That was something. I never thought I'd get to around 110, but I abused the. Um, the, the little glitch where you could sit in the elevator and they would they would only spawn in that little crack in the wall and uh, I got to around 110 and then I got bored and uh, I couldn't be bothered to go any higher so I just kind of killed myself um, ended up having like over 30,000 kills with the slick of fire one of the best uh, wonder weapons in my opinion and then I, I also believe uh, I got to around like 70 on origins so I did a good I did good with the zombie maps and then Black Ops 3 well again really good I liked all the maps um, except for Zetsubo that really was just not a game for me that was not a zombie map for me um, I found the easter egg incredibly easy uh, there wasn't much of a challenge you know the the, the the wonder weapon was terrible you know it wasn't really all that much of a good map for those who enjoy it you know that's you know for them to say yeah they enjoy it me personally I did not um, and uh, I mean, I just can't wait really. I can't wait for these new maps to come out because you know it's not that far away now and it's going to just be one of the best zombie games I'll probably ever play and I'll be posting that for you guys when it comes out. But anyway, that's pretty much it. It's coming towards the end of the gameplay and I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. If you can, give it a subscribe because if you do that will show that you appreciate my content and give it a like because that shows that you want more of what I'm doing even though you probably will not want to see more gameplay that I have posted today but other than that I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys in my next video see ya